Today we're going to talk about four reasons you might silently gain weight without knowing it on your low carb keto carnivore diet. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And this today is about, uh, about weight. Uh, it's a very, uh, before I get into it, I mean, weight is, 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 is a relative number uh, or obscure number. It's because, you know, you also have to look at your body composition as well, fat content and muscle content and so on. But we're, we're going to just stick with, with weight. Um, I'm going to give you a little, just a, a situ situation here. You know, for, for the first nine months of last year, I was, uh, let's say, 200 pounds. And I stopped weighing myself. It was pretty much, I was almost within a pound, the same exact weight, day in and day out, day in and day out, no matter what I ate and, and what I did. And I, I, the batteries died in the scale and I stopped weighing myself. And I didn't care. I'm thinking I'm going to be the same. So I put batteries in the scale back in December. I stepped on the scale. I was 10 pounds heavier. I'm like, oh, I must be a fluke. And a week later, I was the same weight, 10 pounds heavier. A week after that, 10 pounds, the same 10 pounds heavier. So I'm like, oh, man. Uh, that's, that's kind of, and I'm not, I wasn't really, even though I was low carb and doing pretty well, I wasn't staying, I wasn't going back to that original 200 pounds. And I, I, I wanted to think about like what, why this is. And I came up with four reasons that I think are the, uh, the cause of, uh, of that minor 5% weight gain. And uh, the first reason is that I, it's minor cheats. Now, when you're low carb as long as we are or have been, uh, you realize that the cheats, after, after enough failures, that the cheats were ended up being painful. And you don't do them anymore, especially bread, because that makes you feel like crap. Um, even things like nuts now and, and other things, I, I really don't like eating because I don't like the way I feel. But um, there were times, we, we, I think two or three times, I, I got this uh, microwave popping bowl and I made popcorn and I didn't eat the whole thing and nor did I sit there and just mindlessly shovel in, but I did eat popcorn. And that it's not, uh, it doesn't have gluten, but it has carbs and I don't know. I'm, having a cheat like that may set you off for a whole week or so where you're not in ketosis and, and it's, it's not a fun thing. And another one of my uh, potential uh, causes here is that low carb ice cream I was talking about uh, a couple times. There's uh, the Rebel ice cream and then there's that, uh, I forget the name of it, uh, the, keto, the keto edition of the enlightened ice cream. It's only one or two grams, net grams of carbs per um, serving, which is a quarter of a pint. And I, I mean, I ate maybe between 10 and 20 pints within a three month period. Um, and I didn't I eat them all in one sitting. But I'm wondering, and I've, I've talked about this before already, that uh, I think sweets, this, the sweet sensation of anything is probably not meant, well, human beings were not meant to eat that often, or, or sweets. Like you have a berry, you have to climb a tree or to get a pineapple, I don't know. It, I'm thinking I added you know, hundreds or, or you know, thousands of calories to my diet, even though calories don't, um, we don't believe calories count, it's the carbs that do. And we, I really think I added those way additional calories. Maybe every day I ate a pint, let's say I had about a thousand calories extra and quite a bit of fat. It's possible that um, may have affected us because uh, we didn't replace any calories. We just added on to whatever we were eating already. And another obvious reason why I think we, we probably put on a few extra pounds is because the summer ended. And we spend a, a decent amount of time outside uh, taking care of uh, the property, landscaping, pushing around a 600 pound lawnmower and, and holding heavy equipment hours upon hours um, each uh, week in, in the field, so to say. And once that stopped, I guess our physical activity uh, diminished a little bit. And um, normally when you're low carb, you don't eat as much because you're not, your body's requirements aren't uh, asking for you, for you to fuel it. But uh, it's possible that plus the low carb ice cream and general uh, decreased activity had a problem. But the fourth thing, and I think this sort of ties it all together, is alcohol. Um, during those nine months where I was exactly the same weight every day, day in and day out, um, that involved alcohol as well probably why I didn't continue going down. But I think when you have alcohol, lower uh, 
you know, physical activity plus some minor cheats and additional calories with the ice cream, the alcohol kind of puts in, puts a, you know, a, a, a puts the kibosh on any potential weight loss while the alcohol is in your body. Because from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, while you're processing the alcohol, your body cannot burn stored body fat. So that leads me to my next, um, you, know, you know, I guess process in my head is that, you know, I would take days off drinking, you know, here and there. You know, I'd sometimes drink three or four days in a row, have a bottle of wine, well, back in the day, or drink a couple cans of, of uh, low-carb seltzer. And, but I would take a day off, two a days, three days off a week, but I didn't really put together any good streaks. Like back in the old days, people would drink on Friday and Saturday nights and then not drink the rest of the week, and that's five days in a row. I think putting that streak of abstinence or non-consumption of alcohol to at least two days in a row, maybe three, four, or five, is something that would help you regulate your weight. So I'm wondering, do you have any issues with your low carb? Say, are you a perfect low carb carnivore keto eater, but you still run into problems where you you gain a few pounds? Is that, uh, I mean, besides cheats, what are some other reasons you might possibly gain weight? That's it. Please hit the like and the subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.